Here we are at Pulaski Park in Holyoke, Massachusetts. We're at one of the four outlooks on the river. We're the second one from the west, and we're covering all four of them. This one is right in the center. And you can tell that because we're looking at the back of the rock that had her honors Pulaski. The park was dedicated in the early part of the year of 1939. And we're looking of if you had come out here before around in the mid-1950s, you would have seen up here another road coming in, Prospect Street. And that Prospect Street connect, connected to Chestnut Street. So we're looking right at where Chestnut Street came in. And it's hard for most people to live nowadays, but this park for most of its history had streets coming right into this park. And there was four, four definite connections, and that's why there's four outlets. And we're going to look at, at each of the angles from this position. And you can see the um, uh, Pope, St. Pope John Paul II Civic Center. He became a saint a few years back. And this is associated with the Montadero Rosa Church and School. All right, so it's a beautiful park. Great, beautiful day today. And we're going to spin now to the next direction. And you can see in this direction, it's the start of where the canal is going to be. One of our stops is down at that outlet. But this is a beautiful length of the park. You can see lots of modern trees are being put in. And that's not true about all the trees because when this park was done by the Olsen brothers, a lot of these maple trees were put in along what was called Prospect Street. But modern ones have been put in along the way. And you're getting a great look at them. And also you're getting a look at the sidewalks. They're curved. There's one along the, the wall, but the others are curved inwards. Now, uh, spin another 90 degrees. If you come out here, this is now October of 2023. If you come out here um, three weeks from now, most of the leaves would have been turned to color, half of them be done in the ground, and you'd have a great view here. So this is a great park to be from November and December. It's great, and then throughout the winter, January, February, March, because all the leaves are gone, you get to see the view you're supposed to see. Most of the tree, these trees weren't here when they made this park. It was supposed to be a park with a great views, and you would see at this point across the river into South Hadley. And, and one last bend, and you can see where the sidewalks are starting to diverge and converge. And you can see in the distance a great view of the Mount Tom Range. It's a great view. It's, it's a beautiful mountain. Again, if you come out here a couple of weeks from now, and end of October onwards, you get a great sense of all the beautiful colors the trees will have to take on. And from this vantage point, you, you'll see... Uh, just that mountain range, but the next vantage point up, you can also see mountain, mountain range. Now, the park doesn't end there. It keeps going and going, and this was called Hamden Park at one time, and it reached all the way up to what's called Hamden, Hamden Field. And Hamden Field is now called Mitchell Field, and so this park was a very extensive park. A lot of greenery around here, but it also have in this direction, practice things like a baseball field was put up on that field. But since Muller Bridge was put in, there's no connection anymore, and so it doesn't seem to be part of what the park was intended to be. But you still get great views in all directions in this park. Thank you.